there's a triangle that exists in the real estate space. Realtors are at the top, loan officers are below that, and everybody else is below them. What's going on everybody? It's Nick Carpenter here at the 2019 Legion of Loan Officers Fall Conclave, Miami. We're having a blast. Let me show you guys what we've got going on here. What's going on? Yeah! So usually the way it works is realtors dictate the transactions. They they decide who the who their clients get referred to as a, for a loan officer, right? They dictate that whole relationship, and then everybody below loan officers is like title people, insurance, home warranty companies. Um, you know, it, it's everybody else that's involved in the transaction. But those people in general, they're just like bottom feeders because they're just waiting for the realtors and the loan officers to create the business. At minimum, we're trying to create that where it's an it's even playing field, but ideally we're trying to create it where we're above the realtor and we have the realtor coming to loan officers. You know, in the Legion, we never cold call, never, because when you cold call, it, that's, that is, you're going up to that person, right? And, and it's a different conversation that occurs when I go to you versus when you come to me. Because when you come to me, I can ask you, hey, what made you decide to reach out, right? And it's a framing that changes and now my positioning is better than your positioning because you came to me. If I go to you, your position is better than my position. So that's why, you know, we, everything that we do is designed to help loan officers add 10 realtor partners. You know, we're, we're teaching ads and conversions and live classes and all these pieces. But at the end of the day, the real one big goal is to add 10 realtor partners that are sending all their deals in, in the first 90 days, right? Because that's the easiest, most, predictable, stable mortgage business that you can have is great referral partners sending you their deals. Yeah, so everything that we're doing in the Legion from ads, you know, going consumer direct ads with Facebook ads and Instagram and different platforms with YouTube and Snapchat, everything that we're doing is all designed to funnel realtors down and get them to become you know, referral partners with you. It's Tuesday. You're gonna, over today and yesterday, you're gonna hear a lot of awesome speakers, right? And, and there's gonna be an amazing set of ideas and concepts and things you can do. So pick one thing that kind of resonates with you that you know like I can do this thing. Do that first and then do the next thing. And that's how you're gonna have impactful change from what you learn here. So I said, let me just build this real quick. It took me about eight minutes to build this, right? Now obviously, you guys might struggle through it a little bit more, right? But that's about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. One thing I love is when a loan officer comes in the Legion and they're able to fire a realtor. In general, loan officers have never fired an agent. They've never once fired a referral partner because it's the upswing, right? If, if they fire that realtor, they gotta go up to more realtors. So what, one of the things for me is to show them how can you get in front of enough realtors all the time to not care about any one, right? To where you can go fire an agent and have the confidence to know that when you fire that agent and you create space in your business, you're gonna fill that space with better agents, right? It's, sometimes it's, it's, um, it's addition by subtraction. Right, we're going to subtract a referral partner that sucks and we're going to be able to either have a better business with the per partners that exist, we're going to be able to add in new partners that are better. And seeing the confidence that we can create with people where they can, like I said, firing an agent is a big deal to the average loan officer. They have not done that. And that's just one example of coming in the Legion, fire an agent, we're going to show you how to replace them and it's going to give you this mindset and confidence that's going to be a massive impact on your business because of the fact that you have, you know, have done that and you're like wow i can do this my business isn't going to implode right because i got rid of a crappy realtor it's just going to give you a, it's going to free your mind up and it's going to give you the capacity in your business to go get a better partner that matters because you begin your decision making always knowing where your compass is pointing you always know what you're going to be doing where your hirings are going to come from what your next business strategies are going to be what your partners are going to look like whether you should start the new company whether you do the new business whether you should accept the trip take on the new partnership head in that new marketing direction it defines you i'm not trying to turn anybody into a facebook ads expert they become that sometimes but it's not like i'm not setting out to do that i'm just setting out to teach them facebook ads so that they know more than the realtor so that the realtor is like wow he knows more than I know about Facebook ads. I should go ask him about that. And then now the realtor's coming inbound saying, hey, I see you talking about Facebook ads. How can I learn about that? Right? And now they get to have that powerful conversation because the realtor's coming to them versus coming into the office on Monday, cold call 40 agents, ask for a coffee meeting. You know, you go sit down for four meetings. Maybe one works, 
right? There's a lot of time that you have to put into having to create 40 phone calls, to get those four meetings, to go to the four meetings, figure out one person that's great. You know, we just have a whole different process where we'll just put you in front of 20 agents or 30 agents at a time, figure out who you like and don't like, follow up with the ones that you like, turn them into partners, right? And then it's just a much better business where you're not cringing every time your phone rings because you don't want to talk to that agent. It's like, yo, what's up, man? I love when this guy calls me because we have so much in common. We just have a great business together. You know, and it'll just give you more uh, happiness and appreciation for your business versus always feeling salty because you got to deal with that realtor that is charging you so much money to be in a Zillow partnership or whatever because you had to go up to that agent versus having agents because of your positioning and who you are in the market, having them just come to you. And now you get to pick and choose versus the agent being the picker and chooser, right? It's like you can become the buyer, the realtors can become the seller, where the average relationship the realtors are buying the lender, right? The lenders are coming to them, selling themselves. The realtors either buying it or not buying it and sending you deals or not, right? We can flip it. We can make the realtor say, why, why would you be a good partner for me? Right? It's just not a question that lenders ask agents. They never ask them, what would make you a great partner? Because they're scared to do anything that would maybe prevent that agent from starting to send them business, right? Because it's this feeling of, it's this feeling that you need all the realtors that you have. But if I can, I just try to show people how you can go get in front of all the agents and then pick the best ones, right? Once you, you know, if, you, if you're flooded with opportunity, no one opportunity matters because you can be like, yeah, no problem. I, got a, I have another meeting tomorrow or I have another opportunity tomorrow. It, it's, it's okay, right? But if you only have limited amount of opportunities, every one is way more important. Um, in this life, we can be who we want to be, and we can have whatever we want to have. We're not meant to sit in the bleachers and watch the game. We're meant to get out in the field and play in the game. Don't sit by while all these people grow their business. Don't sit by one more minute and watch somebody else have a $100,000 month. Because every single person in this room can do it. Every single person in this room. Now, here's the deal. Maybe you don't want to do that. Because I worked real hard when I didn't have a family. Now I have a family, different story. But that's what I want. What do you want? And you're not meant to sit on the bleachers and watch everybody else play the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're a core values-based mastermind, and our first core value is relationships. Right? And there's something that changes with relationships when you go from being online only to being in a room with somebody. You know, I'm a firm believer that once you've had drinks with somebody, you've shared a meal with them, you know, whatever, you know, have a drink or whatever vices you prefer to do, like it changes your, it changes your relationship, right? It just does. And so that's why to me, these live events and getting people in a room together is super important where we can take that relationship and, and bring it where it's not just this online avatar Right, and we can put an actual face and an actual person and a, and a family and goals and dreams and desires. We can attach that with people that we know as these online characters. And now we can have more accountability. We can have deeper friendships and um, you know people that we can lean on and ask questions of. Maybe go visit them and see how they're doing their business in their town. Right, those things you can't. That will never happen until you get in a room with people. You can't, you just can't develop that relationship, that level of relationship with people online, you know, especially amongst the guys and 80% of our group is men and they're just not sharers on Facebook and it's a general statement, right? But you get in a, you get in a room with people where you've cried with somebody, that's probably another level, right? It's probably like online relationship, share drinks and food, cry together, <laughs> right? And it's like, man, and the fact that we just had a hundred people in a room crying for two days, not for two days like we just sobbed the whole time, but just in different moments of inspiration and stories and passion, you know, it would be bringing out different emotions in people. And so, you know, you, that will never happen in an online space, right? We, we could have never impacted the pizza lady that we gave money to, you know, or the whole group poured into that lady for, for 15 minutes. We could have never done that in an online space. That, that type of impact, that type of connection, a human connection, it can only occur in a room. And so that's why the Legion, you know, we don't just have a Facebook group. We don't just have 
weekly Zoom calls where we're getting on face to face, you know, with each other. But also a few times a year, we have opportunity to get together in person, actually physically be able to hug each other, have a meal, have a drink and, you know, and have actual friendships. Right. There was all this stuff. There was all these consequences of me pretending to be in business. I think most business owners are pretending to do business. They show up to events and they're pretending. This helps them justify the story that they're doing business, right? They watch another training, they buy another course, and they're just they're piling on the evidence of why they're actually doing business. When at the end of the day, they ain't doing shit. Right, I take 20 minutes and I do a personal one-on-one -on -one call with every single person that comes in the Legion. No other training program that I know that serves loan officers does that, not a single one. The reason I do it is because that person's money that they just invested is not as important to me as the culture of the Legion of Loan Officers. And so if that person is culturally not a fit, I'm going to tell them that on the welcome call and I'm going to refund them that day. And they're never going to make it into the Facebook group. They're never going to have an opportunity to negatively impact our community culture or even be known as a member. They'll just be refunded. And we refund somebody about once every six weeks right now is my average that I'll get on a call with somebody, they'll be just a bad fit culturally for whatever reason. Sometimes it's maybe just their energy. Sometimes it's their way that they're talking or the fact how they talk about realtors or, you know, it could be things that just like culturally don't fit the group and the group maintaining our integrity and the group culture, like I said, is definitely more important to me than any one person coming in the group, you know, is, because I'm not trying to sell a training, I'm selling a community. You know, I'm selling a struggle, I'm selling a brotherhood, I'm selling a camaraderie. And you can get training in a lot of places today, tons of places you can get training, but there is only one Legion of Loan Officers. And that's by design, and that'll continue to be, right? It's like, people will not be able to compete with our culture inside of our group. They might, they might win on having a better Facebook ad than me, having a better video sales letter that convinces somebody to join their group over my group. But people that come into Legion, nobody will ever have that experience that what we, what we provide inside of the Legion because of my background, being a realtor, being in the mortgage space, and the, just the community culture that we've created based off of how I used to feel in the Air Force. And how I was like, man, it just always felt like you were just with your friends, you know? It was like instantly, you could go to a new base the first day you were there, the first week you were there, you're gonna meet people, you're gonna have friends, you're gonna be like, yeah, this is my people now. And, and that's the same thing I'm trying to create inside the Legion where when people come in, it's like that first week, they're like, oh, cool, this is my people now, you know? And it's just, it's awesome to, to see that, you know, really living in it and existing and breathing in real life and just to continue to see the evolution of what we're building.